Look up there. Up in the top of the Aleppo pine tree. The cockatoos are nibbling at the pine cones. That's what they're doing. They're eating pine cones. Self-requested cockatoos doing their thing. I should get a good camera, shouldn't I, with a good telescopic lens on it and a tripod. Aren't I lucky to be surrounded by such beauty? Whoops. I can hear parrots as well. There are parrots nearby. If I had a better camera, I could film parrots, couldn't I? That's a neighbour working on their shed. Just when I'm filming, they have to start using their angle grinder. Don't they? Just when I'm filming. How can I get up there and film close to those cockatoos? How? Fishes catch fire apparently. I don't know what cockatoos do. So there's a cockatoo up there. Let's get closer still. I'll try walking slowly. Sorry if it makes you seasick. I know I get seasick on YouTube watching videos that are jerky. I always vow that I'll never make videos like that that, that make people seasick. And here I am making one such video. I'll try and edge closer to that cockatoo without it noticing me. They're called cockatoos. If, if the person outside a gambling, a gambling establishment, an illegal gambling establishment, the person that tips off the people inside that the police are coming, are called a cockatoo. There we are. There's a beautiful cockatoo with its big sulphur crest. There it is, posing for YouTubers. beautiful bird. I've heard of them living to a hundred years in captivity but who wants to live in a cage when it can be free to do its own thing? So high too. My arms are getting sore. This is about as close as I can get to that cockatoo. Must get a fancy camera, yes. Must get a tripod, yes. Everybody, my YouTube friends are always telling me that. I've seen cockatoos in Tarzan films. 
how did they get to Africa?